Zers in the Winding Cove in the EDZ. He's currently selling an armor set that yeah, we haven't seen since actually technically this season. It's in the world pool, but you guys should, could just buy it out all outright, which is the Jensen Knight armor set. I really like this armor set. It's like one of my favorites for Titans and Hunters specifically. Titans, I the Titans look really good. Uh, for their armor rolls, I, honestly, I would just be picking this up just for the look itself, but I, yeah, I would suggest at least the chess piece, considering the chess piece is uh, the inspiration that the season three chess piece was. I'll have a picture up right now. Uh, the legs are literally like a like a copy and paste of literally all these skins from Destiny 2 vanilla or vanilla Destiny 2. So if you don't have those boots, I might you might as well. They're really cool, especially if you're going for a sleek look. And the helmet's also really good in my opinion. I think the helmet is the best part. Uh, if I'm being quite honest, just because if you want to go for like a faceless, uh, faceless mask, this is it. And then the arms, I think are like the weakest part plus the cloak as well. Uh, as for the Titans, theirs is really good in my opinion. Uh, the arms are probably the best, although my favorite would probably be the Jensen Night Greaves just because they're really good. The armor stats, uh, again. If you guys like them, pick them up, obviously. I would just say pick all, pick everything up, or at least pick your favorite parts. Again, the chess piece is inspired, or is the inspiration for the season three arm or chess piece for all of them. So if you guys like those but missed out on season three, uh, season three Iron Banner ornaments, then this is going to be the best case for you because, again, uh, the only difference is that I think the Iron Banner ornaments have the jaggedness in the armor plates and stuff, but... The design itself is literally that. The arms, again, I think are the best. I think they're co really, really cool because uh, if you want to go for an armor piece that's very rounded and you want to have like a almost like a dome, like because as you guys can see, the, the the arms go like this. If you get a, a helmet that's really good and like really round, then you can almost do this. Like it's I don't know. I'll explain it better in a video that I'm going to be making about uh, armor pieces, but this is probably my favorite just because of how cool it looks. Not only that, I have a specific armor set that uses the Jensen Knight Greaves. So that's why this is also my favorite. Uh, I've already done a video on it, I think, uh, specifically showing the build that I made with this. But yeah, it it's one of my favorite legs for the Titan, aside from like two others. And then again, the helmet, if you want to do a faceless helmet, this will be the best one for you. Uh, just be aware that the helmet does have like like lines and whatnot going through it almost like something's in there so as for the warlocks theirs is pretty terrible in my opinion I've never really been a really big fan of the Jensen Knight uh, set for the warlocks but again like I said if you do not have the season 3 ornaments from Iron Banner this is gonna be your best bet because this is indeed uh, the inspiration that that ar ar that armor used. I'll have a photo, obviously, but this one's probably the weakest one in my opinion, just because I think it looks kind of terrible. But again, if you don't have it and you want to have that like Iron Banner look, this is going to be your best case scenario. Uh, the helmet, in my opinion, is probably the worst of the bunch as well, just because it looks weird. Uh, I don't know what it is. It just looks weird. And then the arms and the... Actually, let's see the arms. I haven't seen them in a while. Uh, the arms are okay. They're very basic. S same thing with literally almost everyone aside from the Titans. And then the boots are just... Unfortunately, just Warlock boots just suck in general. So that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Again, uh, some of these pieces are really, really good and really good for Transmog. This is really cool. It's see-through. Wow. Wow. That's really cool. Oh, it changes the plate. That's cool. I actually, well, I have this armor set, so I don't have to worry about it. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you guys going to scoop this up? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, I'll like links are in the description below. I do have the Zer, CR, what is it? What did I call it? Zer's uh, Exotic uh, Dare. Zer's Exotic Dare. Yeah. I have the next one up. I already have all the armor done, so I just need to make the video. So if you guys want to see that, it will most likely be up tomorrow. Uh, unless I'm really fast. Either way, I will see you guys later.